Hi, Sam. It's nice to meet you. I've been watching your show for years. Uh, but I did want to talk about um, two things. One, what's your name? Wait, wait, what's your name? Oh, Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Nathan Galang from Green Acres, Florida. Okay, Mason from uh, Green Acres, Florida. What's on your mind? Yeah, so uh, two things. One, uh, online, political, not too important. And two, local politics and real um, real world elections and all that stuff. But first one, uh, I'm sure you you guys interacted with a lot of the Jimmy Dore left, the dumb dumb left as they've been called. But no. And I, I think you guys have made this clear as well. They seem to really be pushing this real right wing direction. But it, it, it's so sad seeing like real people or formerly real people go hard on this grift and they change their personality 180. Recently, I had a debate with this guy, Jackson Hinkle. I don't know if you heard of him. Um, he's just an orbiter. And I asked him a simple An question. arbiter? Uh, yeah, yeah, a Jimmy Dore orbiter. That means like okay. in the orbit of Jimmy Dore. They just followed the trends and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, Anti-vax, all that, anti-justice Dems. So I asked him because he's in, he knows people in the People's Party. He supports the People's Party. I was Is like, that People's Party guys, still around? I haven't heard much about them lately. Uh, Honestly, they're a glorified email list. That's all they are. Okay. I, I asked him, do you guys have any campaigns ready? You guys have any anything? Surely any they must have a candidate by now, right? I mean, what? How was? Yeah. I mean, my understanding of the whole force the vote theory was that we're going to get Democrats who don't support Medicare for all, even though we already know mostly, we know at the very least 110 of them that don't, right? Like the ones that didn't sign on to. Co uh, but we're we're going to smoke out. I guess them, I mean, because I don't, if you know it's going to fail and you've already signed the co-sponsored the bill, why wouldn't you vote for it? But maybe there was one, one or two who wouldn't. And they're going to run primaries against those people. Surely, yep. surely they have at least a couple, like one, two, five, ten candidates that they have at this point. That was a year ago almost. Yep. That they are ready to primary uh those democrats i'm all in favor of, of a primary of the democrats um he, and, and yeah, you're telling me they have yeah. none yep he replied with my two questions for him i asked him you guys have any candidates or any ballot access and he said uh no we don't have any candidates i don't really keep up with the party leadership even though i know all the even though i know the founder and i know all the leaders and i promote it and all that stuff I, I don't know anybody that's running and then he also said, oh, we don't have ballot access because we have, that's really hard. You have to get a lot of signatures. And it's almost like you're running a party. So no, of course, you're going to have to put in the work. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I listen, I, I certainly on a local level and even in terms of like, you know, I mean, in terms of primary, um, uh, a lot of these Democrats, well, I, I would primary all of them, uh, frankly. Uh, I think yeah. that's a very healthy thing, and 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 a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, but sometimes you win, and that's good too. But um, if you don't have any candidates and and you, you haven't developed any of that, then there really it was never a plan in the first place. It's I almost like the plan was like to yeah, be well, failed that? by the party and to squawk about it. Right. All right, but I mean, whatever. Yeah. I mean, whoever. Uh, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I mean, there. I just. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm not even sure that they're the dumb dumb left anymore as much as they are just the dumb dumb. Uh, they're frankly, just, uh, they're just extensions of the right, essentially. Yeah. I mean, I think they're just it's a it's a different sort of like, um, I don't know. It's just a, a branding exercise that is, you know, may help them uh, with their shows or whatnot and their, you know, Patreons or whatever it is. Uh, what, what? Yeah, that makes a perfect transition to uh, my other subject. I'm I'm actually running for local office uh, in my city. And oh, it's a lot of momentum. I'm going to have a kickoff party later this week on Sunday. Um, and I, I think it's interesting because I, I went through that process of qualifying. It's a bit complicated. It's a little overwhelming, especially for new people. But I'm in a nonpartisan city. So even though I'm a Democrat, I don't, uh, you know, I don't have to be approved by the party. I have the primary. I'm just in. Oh, good. I just need to talk to people. Uh, people have reached out. Different groups have reached out. A lot of stuff. And it made me realize. These people, if they were serious, 
why are they not running in these local elections, these smaller elections where they have towns of like 40,000 nonpartisan, all that stuff, where you have the chance, where you're not tied to the D or R next to your name. But then I'm just, yeah, they're not serious. And you're but, building yeah. you're building a political base that you can migrate. Mm-hmm. I don't know what your plans are, but you, 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 um, you, you, you win locally. Then maybe you run for Congress or maybe you run for state Absolutely. Senate and you run for, for Congress and you're building a base. And at one point you you have an asset that you can bring to a party and uh, yep. leverage uh, their support because you have support, uh, pre-existing support. I mean, there's. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. Good for you. Well, do you, what's your uh, do you have a website or something like that? We can plug it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here, I'll, I'll get the link to that. I'll put it in the chat. Uh, it's nathangalang.polyengine.com. I'm putting the donate link in the chat because that's, I need that. Okay. Uh, obviously, not a lot of big money coming in, but that's okay. You know, All right. I'm putting the work. That's the most important. All right. Well, good luck. Uh, keep us updated. Send us an email. Absolutely. All right. Bob. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Thanks. Thank man. you for having me on. Appreciate it.